Walter Achora can no longer talk and he can barely eat. He's 12 years old but the growth of his body and his brain are completely stunted. He has nodding syndrome. It's only found in certain areas of East Africa. Here in northern Uganda thousands of children have it. There's no cure and eventually it kills. His sister Grace has it too. Most of the time she's too weak to come out of their hut. Their parents don't know what to do. It's very difficult to look at these two children. As a mother, it's unbearable. I hope for any kind of support from any well-wisher. Without that, I feel useless and eventually I think they'll die. Just a few kilometres away, it's a completely different scene. These children also suffer from nodding syndrome, but they've been coming to this special centre every day for a year. And the improvement in their health is astounding. They're given basic education, balanced meals, and the staff help them to wash every day. Those who were not talking, now they can talk. We are some of them here. You can see them. Those who could not play, they are now jumping, kicking. Yeah? They were having no smiling in their faces. Now they laugh, they joke. But they're still not cured. Nodding syndrome gets its name because victims get seizures that often begin with nodding. The children here still get seizures, although they happen less frequently, and staff are trained by doctors how to handle them. Medicines for treating epilepsy help, and vitamin supplements too, but the drugs alone have a limited effect. The whole programme of daily activities at the centre is crucial. It was set up by two American doctors. They run a charity for nodding syndrome victims called Hope for Humans. Nodding syndrome has baffled disease experts. They don't know what causes it, and there's no known cure. But the children here have improved considerably. They're relatively healthy and happy. And it seems to a large extent that's simply because they're getting what all children need. Some balanced meals, some exercise, some suitable education, and some simple hygiene. And that suggests that the reason that nodding syndrome is so devastating in this area must at least in part be because of the broader context of extreme poverty. Walter lives too far from the centre to walk there. The government provides services for children with nodding syndrome, but with much less success. So for most, it still causes great suffering and eventually death. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Gulu District in northern Uganda.